Hey guys, Sai is here and today in this video, I'm going to talk about what is the difference between dynamic device and non-dynamic device. What is the difference between dynamic custom ROM and non-dynamic custom ROM? This question is asked by you guys. A lot of uh, guys ask this question. So I decided that to make video on this topic. So today uh, topic is what is the difference between dynamic and non-dynamic devices or we can call uh, ROMs, right? So let's move on the topic. So first thing which most important the dynamic device came with AB slot as we can see here it is AB slot is present on dynamic device but talking about non-dynamic device there is no slot there is on uh, here it is only single slot which is A slot or B slot okay except uh, only single slot is present in non-dynamic device okay dynamic room contains okay as we can see when I go on backup section on dynamic device and go on this backup section so as we can see here it is a super partition is existing in dynamic device dynamic rooms but talking about on non-dynamic device here it is there is no super partition is present in non-dynamic device because here it is the vendor partition system partition and the product or any logical partitions are individually exist on non-dynamic device okay so as we can see here it is there is second difference right now talking about a next difference as we can see the dynamic uh, device not contain any particular size okay for super partition because it is dynamically adjust okay but talking about non-dynamic device as we can see here it is for system vendor and other logical partitions have fixed size here it is as we can see every partition have fixed size so we can't flash room if that room size is greater than this fixed size because the manufacturer already fixed the size of this partition right so we can't flash more than this fixed size partition but talking about in dynamic device as we can see here it is a super partition is exist and there is no fixed size in super partition so this is the benefit okay for example if you are going to flash any custom rom any dynamic custom rom uh, the size of that dynamic custom rom is little bit more no matter because here it is no fixed size for super right so super content system vendor product so you can flash any custom rom any mega custom rom any mini custom rom no problem but talking about in non dynamic device this is the problem we can't flash more than fixed size custom rom right so this is the main difference now talking about next difference dynamic device supports seamless updates ab because it have a ab slot right but in non dynamic device here it is no two slots there is no a b slot just ha it have only single slot a or b that's it no no both slots are present in non dynamic device okay so this is the very important uh, what happen if it's a dynamic what is the meaning of supporting seamless updates okay for example if developer want to push ot updates then it is easy for pushing ot updates on dynamic devices okay and in ot update any error is schemes no matter the devices boot again on old room successfully without any brick without any boot loop issue but talking about what about non dynamic device in non non dynamic device doesn't support any seamless update okay and the most important point if any issue is schemes or any errors in schemes in ot update then non dynamic device stuck on logo it's not going to boot because here it is only one slot and in updating process if anything happen wrong then the device gonna break so this is the uh, major change now talking about next change dynamic device supports only dynamic custom recovery maybe it a twrp or whatever okay so you are able to flash dynamic roms on only dynamic custom recovery which is specified for specific device okay now talking about what about 
नॉन डायनेमिक डिवाइस और नॉन डायनेमिक डिवाइस यू कैन यूज एनी कस्टम रिकवरी टी डब्ल्यू आर पी ऑरेंज फॉक्स पिच ब्लैक वॉट एवर एंड एनी रॉम यू आर एबल टू फ्लैश विद द हेल्प ऑफ एनी कस्टम रिकवरी बिकॉज हियर इट इज नो नीड ऑफ डायनेमिक कस्टम रिकवरी यू कैन यूज एनी वर्जन ऑफ रिकवरी एनी कंपनी रिकवरी लाइक आई मीन एनी ऑरेंज फॉक्स और एनी टाइप ऑफ रिकवरी टू फ्लैश एनी कस्टम रॉम आई मीन नॉर्मल कस्टम रॉम नो आई एम नॉट गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट डायनेमिक कस्टम रॉम सो दिस इज द डिफरेंस ओके सो नाउ टॉक अबाउट वॉट इज द अनदर डिफरेंस एज आई प्रीवियसली टोल्ड डायनेमिक डिवाइस देर इज नो फिक्सड partition right i mean for super there is no fixed size in dynamic device so the storage efficiency is better in in dynamic device but talking about in non dynamic device the storage storage efficiency is not good because if the rom size is more than fixed size that means the device uh, the rom is not going to flash it will give you error because if the rom size is more than fixed size of this images or this partitions then rom going to fail to install so note this point okay next last and final uh, change uh, difference is dynamic room schemes with android 10 or uh, above android 10 okay uh, sub dynamic uh, room supports android 10 or above android 10 okay but talking about non dynamic uh, devices which comes with android 9 or below versions so this is the major difference okay and talk about performance battery backup and uh, ram management so this th this three things not depend on dynamic or non dynamic this depends on kernel and hardware so this is the major thing okay ha huh, yeah little bit di little bit difference is present um like uh, here it is a good uh, storage efficiency it provides seamless updates uh, and the main important thing is size is adjustable so the little things is good on performance and battery backup and ram management wise and dynamic custom roms okay so this is the different if you like this video then please like and share this video see you in the next video with another interesting video so love you guys goodbye take care